Hi guys, it's H here from H's Life. Welcome back. So today we're putting up all the Eid decorations, setting the table and arranging the kids Eid presents. So first of all, I'm putting up the banner. It's a simple black and gold banner. And then on the sides of the banner, on either side we have a moon a hanging a plaque on the one side and on the other I have one that says Eid Mubarak so this uh, tassel or bunting if you like took a while to sort out figured it out eventually so we left a sort of loop at the top to string the ribbon through and this Eid Mubarak ribbon that I have came in handy. So I strung it through all of the uh, individual tassels to make a sort of hanging bunting which went underneath the Eid Mubarak banner and looked like this. I was quite pleased with that. So then we blew up some balloons to add to this banner and we place them on the top of the railing all the way across some nice balloons there in gold black and then a clear with gold confetti inside and this is what they looked like once they were all done I was quite pleased with the outcome a nice simplistic yet nice gold and black theme going on. Okay, so then I went to set the table and I wanted it to look nice and fancy since it's the occasion of Eid and I mainly went for gold, some dull gold and some brighter gold. And as you will have seen in my previous video, my Eid Decor Hall, I'm going to use all of those cups and plates. So firstly the dinner plates. And they go really well with this theme. and then added the side plates on top and then I worked out how to um, put this napkin inside of the napkin holder uh, usually, obviously, I use the cloth napkins, but since these had Eid Mubarak on them, I thought they'd be nice for the day. And I ended up placing them on the plates like so. Um, and then added the cups. And the placemats are quite big, so I was able to place everything on. And I will add the um, cutlery onto there and any other extras. I was quite happy with the end result. I think it looks quite elegant, quite pretty. Let me know guys what you think. Just gives it a little bit of a special touch for the celebration of Eid. Okay, moving on to the side table. You can rem see the Ramadan calendar. It has the Eid box at the bottom, which the kids can open on the day. And I have the white moon and star from before. And then I have these individual platters of EID for Eid, which I will fill with chocolates. And then I had the gold moon uh, platter 
which again I can fill with lots of chocolates because on Eid that's a special day so we can go crazy with the chocolates and here we go a variety of them and I've just added my cake topper which I'll probably use for a cake once I bake one okay so moving on these are the Eid decoration fans that I got so let's assemble these first and then I'll show you how I'm going to put them up I'm quite impressed uh, with the way these came out and the way the gold attachments go on. I think they're quite pretty. So on this one I decided to put the um, Eid Mubarak in Arabic on top. And they come with these bits of glue, so quite easy to put together. And just like that. And then I decided to use the lantern fairy lights that I already had and just string the fans on top of that just to use it as a holding but also to use the lights so sort of a double whammy and that's what they looked like in the end And there you go with the lights on. I was quite happy with that. Okay, so moving on. For the sideboard, I just put on those uh, glittery silver moon and star stands. And then I had a little banner that went that is perfect for the sideboard. And I just strung that together and placed it onto the sideboard just like so. Just to finish that area off. And then the rest of the sideboard I'll use for uh, placing all of the food in the serving dishes. So that space there will be utilized for that. And that's what that looks like. And it's adjacent to the dining table, so perfect. And this side table in the living room, I just put down the Eid plaque decoration piece and the tissue box. And the colors complement each other, so that's perfect. And last but not least, I filled this corner of the room with balloons and placed all of the children's Eid presents in this corner. So I'm sure when they walk into the living room on the morning of Eid, they'll be super excited. And some of these presents are all the way from the UK, from grandparents and uncles and aunts. So lucky the, these guys. Um, wherever you are in the world, guys, I hope you have a, a lovely Eid. And for those of you that aren't celebrating, um, I hope you enjoy the video. And this Eid, in particular Eid al-Fitr, is to celebrate the end of Ramadan and the end of fasting. I hope everyone's fasts are accepted and you enjoyed the month of Ramadan. It flew by. And I hope that all of your houses are filled with lots of joy during this Eid. 
And okay guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye!